Okay, so what I have here is an Apple IIe card, and what it is is it's a scaled down version of an Apple IIe, and you're able to put it inside of a Macintosh Performa. And what that does is it allows your Performa to emulate an Apple IIe. And it's kind of cool because then you get to use your mouse, which used to be kind of rare on an Apple IIe. And uh, you, using the Y cable that comes with the card, you can hook up a joystick and a couple five and a quarter inch drives. But now you've got a problem, or at least I had a problem, and that was how do I get the software that's available on the internet onto my Apple IIe uh, box and start using it? And it's not as straightforward as you would think. Sure, there's a program out there called ADT, but that requires that you hook up a parallel or serial cable uh, to your hardware from a, uh, a PC computer and then transfer the bytes over very slowly. And that's a long, drawn-out process, and I figured out a different way to do it using uh, a laptop. A 1.4 megabyte high density floppy and then of course the five and a quarter inch floppies that you're going to be writing to where you decompress your software on so that way you can boot it up into Apple IIe mode and 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 run the game okay so what I have here is a program called cider press it's available for free on the internet it runs on a PC and what it allows you to do is uh, different things with disk images that are available on the internet for Apple's, Apple computers. Um, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a disk image. Try that again. Disk image. So that was file new, disk image. And when the create disk image dialog comes up, I'm going to choose ProDOS because that's the type of volume that I want. The disk size will be 800 kilobytes, 3.5 inch floppy. Do not use 1.4 megabyte, 3.5 inch floppy. Although that's the size of our floppy, if you use that, then the Apple IIe won't be able to read that size. So, 800 kilobytes is what we want. I'm going to crawl my ProDOS volume image. Going to click OK. Save it as image, the name and uh, save as type ProDOS ordered image, that PO file. Okay, now that that's done, now I'm going to add some files. And these are the files that we've downloaded on the internet. Uh, I'm going to add Choplifter. And for the options down below, I just leave them for the default. And click on Accept. And there it is. Choplifter DSK has been added to our ProDOS volume. Now we've got plenty of space here left over if we want to add more, but I'm going to keep it simple and just leave Choplifter on there. And then I'm going to go, go on over here to Volume Copier Open Volume. Click on that. I'm going to choose Floppy Disk. I'm going to deselect Open as Read Only because we're going to be writing. I'm going to click on OK. And uh, what I have here is a, a MS-DOS floppy uh, inserted into my drive. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to click on Load from File. Now I'm going to load our image that we just made. Click on Open. It's going to complain that you're going to be wasting space on your floppy drive. That's quite okay. Don't worry about that. And that you're going to be overriding the MS-DOS. That's fine. We want to do that. And so now it's going to take that image and it's going to write it onto our floppy drive. Okay, so now that's done, I'm going to take my floppy drive and I'm going to stick it inside of my Performa. Okay, so here we are at my Performa. What I have here is my 1.4 megabyte floppy disk. I'm going to stick it inside of the Performa's built-in floppy drive. 
mounted it, and there we have image. That's what we uh, created with Cider Press. And then over into my five and a quarter inch floppies, I have a ProDOS disk. This will allow me to boot in the ProDOS. And then I also have a blank five and a quarter inch disk. And this is where Choplifter is going to go. And that goes into my second drive. And I'm going to start up Apple IIe mode. It's not loading ProDOS. And what I have here is a program called Disk Maker 8. Disk Maker 8 is going to allow me to decompress what's on my 1.4 megabyte floppy that I created on my PC and place it onto my 5 and a quarter inch uh, blank floppy. So I'm going to choose this one here, the Flop 5 Disk 1 image, open. I'm going to choose Choplifter Disk. And then for my target, I'm going to use Slot 6 Drive 2. Double click on that. It's going to format it and decompress it. Now when it writes, it takes about two or three minutes to do this.